morning guys how are you guys today this is saturday morning may the 6th and for your boy radars this is a special day it always is a special day since around 1991 i think you know i went and i make some plays and stuff and i get a little into this stuff but it's okay it's it's part of life i i love to live my life enjoy my life i don't like to nobody likes to go and gamble and stuff we we should say to me this is not gambling you know when somebody say oh by you they're running behind the ass the horses them i don't like to watch at them cheap races with the Monday to Friday, them kind of thing. If I want to go, I would go and play the races on like a Saturday. And like, there's two days, especially in the year, that I really enjoy, which is the first Saturday in May, which is Kentucky Derby Day today. And there's another day that is um, for Saturday, usually in November, it's called Breeders' Cup Day. And that one even more big because there's more big events. Today, there's like something that all horse players just look forward to the most because it's the biggest day in the whole horse racing industry worldwide too, I would say. Everybody look, we got horses coming from Japan. We have horses coming from Europe, all these kind of things too. Anyways, guys. I am so happy this morning. I wake up since about 4.30 and I am watching IPL cricket. I made a small bet on the um, Chennai Super Kings against the Mumbai. It looks like they should be okay. They got um, these, what were they there? About 100 for four and 15 overs done. So they can't make more than 150. And I think there is like nothing for Chennai. Chennai gonna whitewash that. So, your boy is in a good mood, you know? Right, and also, I'm also in a good mood because I've been promoting, well, I mean, it's a month now. I'm looking for, now a month since the starting of the year. I never used to play races. I went through November, December, January, February. I didn't even play one race. You know, winter time. And I guess just I didn't feel up to it, but I play a couple of time in March and I'm looking to this Derby Trail for a long time. I spent two months, you know, looking at all the prep races, all these kind of things. I enjoy I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I love it. So I spent a lot of time watching at the Derbyologist. If you guys never see, there's a, another program that comes on through DRF, the Clock Watchers, so many different ones. And the Derby, I mean, is a special kind of a day. Because I think that it's try and fill the field like 20 horses. So to pick one out of 20 horses on the biggest day of the year where every jockey, every trainer, everybody want to make their name. And of course, the horse um, people, whoever owns the horse, that is not only big money. I think is what, how much million that is run for nowadays. Let me just quickly check here. The purse is $3 million this year. Anyways, guys, also, I mean, my Leafs, I was so happy last week to say, see them get to the second round. I thought they would whitewash Florida. So far, this thing not happening. So, first two games in Toronto, we lose two. I know we're going tonight is um, in Florida. I don't know, I guess we might still be able to do it, but it look a little tough now because two game lose at home already. Uh, I don't know, and the Machu Kachuk. Oh Lord, the man take over and he, The way how I, I watch most of the la, I, I, well, I'm still a hockey fan, but I'm not as big. Like if you put on the Blue Jays game and the Leafs game, there's no competition for me. I can watch, pay attention more to the Blue Jays. I love my Toronto teams, Blue Jays, Raptors, and um, Leafs. I love them. And now even I'm paying attention a little bit to the Toronto FC. 
But I, I, I never was really a soccer fan or so. I'm a cricket fan, everybody know. Raiders loves his West Indies. Anyways, guys, uh, let's get to the field here. Um, in the Oaks, by the way, I did um, select, was seven horses in the Oaks because uh, somebody was telling me, oh, don't worry, um, what do you call it? Wet paint, wet paint, you're gonna win easy, like for fun. I watched the race on the racing farm. I said, there's no way this wet paint, I mean, he might win, but to me was wide, wide open. So that's why, oh, there was 14 horses in the um, Oaks. I care seven of them. I need. I f felt I needed a little coverage. Anyways, number 14 win. The tree almost knocked me out because I had no um, tree. I had no tree, I had no two. The race ran 14, three, two. And the tree just almost catch the 14. So it's like lucky, lucky, lucky. I have the double going. Anyways, into the derby now. Uh, no, well, I'm going to tell you something with the Oaks. I had played number one. Was seven of them, right? One because of my my cat that died a long time ago, about eight years ago. Eight or nine years ago. I can't remember. I think it was about 2013 or 14. Me and my wife, I mean, we had two cats. They, we got them together. Um, just after her um, surgery to get um, fixed. I think something must have happened during that surgery because a year afterwards she developed like she whole skin get um, yellow and she died. Yeah, anyways, uh, she was Mimi. That was name is Mimi. The one that died last year, she lived with us a long time. And she was my, oh my God, my pet. I tried my heart out to carry her to the vet. I mean, money doesn't matter at that time. Whatever you, I could have managed, I would have take rent money and pay for the cat if, if I could have make her to survive. But they said that um, Boo Boo, she had um, cancer. Uh, she had a throat, something like sticking out from her throat, get fat, fat, fat. And we didn't know what was the problem. So, anyways. Um, Let's get to the derby field now, right? So I'm in on the double. Number one, hit show. This is a Colt, three-year-old Colt by Candy Ride. He is three for five. Three wins, five. That's what I'm showing you. And this horse, Morning Line, 30 to one. He's in for me. I don't know if, as I said, it's 20 horses. I don't know if I will get him. Anyways, second horse, um, verifying by Justify, one, one of the Triple Crown champions, I think about three or four years ago. He is, um, six races started, two wins. And I think like last year, he was a high price yearling. I was very impressed with his last race with, um, with um, Tapit Trice. To me, at least he hold his own for a while. He barely get beat by about quarter or quarter length or so but through the whole stretch he fight with trap tap it trice so maybe if he get a little bit more easy trip maybe he can beat him that's number two 15 to one he's in number three two fills son of heart spun eight races four wins seems like a good horse he come from turfway park i think there's a synthetic track I, I don't know if he's going to like the dart at Churchill. He looks like he's going to enjoy the mile and a quarter still. Um, he's in. For me, I put him in. That is two fills at 12 to 1 morning line. We don't know what the thing's going to change, right? Anyways, number four. Confidence game. Another candy ride. Seven races, three wins going into it looks like a decent horse but I mean they said that um, he last races since in February so he got over two months layoff going into it I don't know the trainer might just be f keeping him fresh and you know but for go two months out of layoff of beta field like this is a little hard but again I put him in because his breeding to me is half decent and he run reasonable with this kind of quality of field but just the fact that he hasn't run in two um, 
two months is a little concerning, but 20 to 1, and he is in for me. So again, that's four of them. All of them I put in. Here we go now to the top it trice. He's listed as one of the favorites. He won the Tampa Bay Derby. You got to say very, very impressively. Coming from last to first, sweep the whole field. That was in the Tampa Bay Derby. Everybody said, oh, that's just Tampa Bay Derby. Suddenly the horse entered in the bluegrass. In a decent field, I think he, because he's a big trainer, he's Pelche, right? Um, anyways, the horse is five races, four wins. Only one time he ever lose. But a little bit inexperienced, but the last two races, win the Tampa Bay Derby, win the Bluegrass, one of the big preps. So you have enough points. Actually, I think he might be one of the favorites. He's listed at, at five to one. I would say he should be somewhere around that, maybe even drop down because he did out got verifying in the stretch. I think he was the favorite in the Bluegrass. But now, because he did a different trip that time too, he didn't um, wait till at the back of the pack and come with one big run. He was a little bit forwardly post, so he tried a little bit, right? So that's another one in for me. Five to one, tap it twice. And here we go. Undefeated horse, Kings Barnes, Uncle Mo. Uncle Mo is usually a very speed... Um, what you call it speed oriented um the horse was sheer speed and um decent with like six seven even up to a mile a mile and eight seems okay he only ran three times in his life the last time he went easy for um a mile and eight he slowed the pace down he had it all his own way but he did nothing wrong he just win you run three times, you win three times, you can do nothing wrong. So that's another one in for me. But I said that he adds my drift because he's very inexperienced. Kings Barnes at 12 to 1. Okay, now we go on to Reincarnate. Reincarnate is seven races, two wins. Good magic. Oh, I forget to tell y'all, um, Tappet Trice, the breeding Tappet has, like, I mean, he breed um, the super horse last year. What was his name? Fl Flight, Flight Line. And of course, they make a mile and a quarter. It's fully expected, but the breeding can make the mile and a quarter like nothing, but I don't know. They said there has been 15 horses bred by Tappet going into the Derby, never win. So that's why there's some doubt, you know, to me, but... I still carry them anyways good magic reincarnate i can't carry everybody you know i i look at the the figures that show on the book and i had to leave this one out i hope he doesn't beat me anyways reincarnate at 50 to 1. one of my favorite jockeys though john velasquez if somebody can scoot an upset that is the man for do it i hope he don't beat me Anyways, we go on to number eight now. Mage, another good magic. Uh, it's a young um, sire. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know, you know, I, I don't know what, what could happen. But um, the two races why I see this horse run. This horse um, was behind Forte, the big favorite in the, Dor in the Florida Derby. And he came and he took him at the top of the stretch. I said he got him. He can't lose from that position. And Mr. Forte, still, after being forwardly placed in front of um, this mage, mage passed him. And then in the stretch, he, the Forte had good enough like uh, strength for, for come back and beat him. So that was the top two in the um, Florida Derby. I just give him a chance. I don't know. They, you don't know this good magic if they're going to make the mile and a quarter. It's a young sire. I mean, I care this one. I didn't care the other one. This one is morning line 15 to 1. Javier Castellano. I mean, and this is one of the trainers why he's not as well known. What name? Um, Gustavo Delgado. I don't know. 
Anyways, we had two scratches. I really like the Skinner, number nine, but he scratched. The 10 practical move, I think he's undefeated or he's, he's the um, Santa Anita Derby champion, but the, the um, breedings was practical joke. I probably would not have carried him for sure, but he, he was coming into the race with high buyers and all those kind of things. So, But he scratched, so I don't have to make that decision. Okay, going on to number 11, this armed son of gun runner. This horse is only five races, one win. So basically, he's a maiden horse that is running with a bunch of great horses. So this one is like a very cold one for me, but I, I just watch at the way how he's training. Steve Asmussen, you know, and Joel Rosario, I mean, he started to one on the board. Right now, I don't know where he can go off at. He's only one out of five wins going into the Derby. I put him in, I put him in just, I mean, I was, you know, out of, I think the 20 horse field, I put in 11 of them. So I have more than um, half the field. So, I mean, I hope I get it because I handicapping is my favorite 11. I don't know if I get all, all the favorites and all, uh, I can't care all and all, so I didn't care. I have a few, that one is in. Okay, we go on to now Jack's Road, Quality Road, very good uh, sire. Again, this horse key comes into the Derby of a third place at Fairgrounds. I guess that is the um, behind King's Barnes. He is um, six races, two wins. Uh, for this one, for me, I had to leave him out. Again, you have to leave some out. He's fifth at the one morning line. And he doesn't impress me that much from his lines. The how he's, he cleanly got beaten by King's Barnes and even King's Barnes that 12 to 1. So I didn't care this one. Another one I did not care. Good breedings into the mischiefs on Thunder. Six races, one win. I mean, he only have a maiden win. Fourth in the bluegrass. Uh, what can I do into the mischief? I don't know the trainer so much. Uh, one out of six so far in this field. I had to leave him out. I didn't carry him. Hope he don't beat me. Okay, now we come into the two big gunners. The breeding is classic empire, angel of, um, of empire. Six races, four wins, including a big move in the Arkansas Derby. Huge move. He just circle them and just keep going all the way to the white. He open up must be four or five lengths. Then that is the major prep. One of the major preps, you know, 1.2 million. He win that. At fairgrounds, he win another race at 400,000. So he's looking like he's good. He's training well. I heard good reports from the clock watchers. The Derby um, allergist, I think that is the Derby allergist pick. So he's in my bet, right? Angel of Empire, Flavian Pratt, 8 to 1 morning line, he'll be less than that. I should feel he's going to be within 4 or 5 to 1. I feel the three favorites going to end up being um, Angel of Empire, um, Tapit Trice, and the Forte, of course. Okay, now we come to the 15, the big favorite, Mr. Forte. Won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile last year. Seven races, six wins. This horse has done nothing, nothing at all wrong. I was thinking in my mind that the violence, the breeding, might not make the whole um, mile and a quarter. But when I go back and I study back in the bloodlines and stuff, Medallia Doro did very well, you know, at these kind of distance. The offsprings are doing well. And this horse himself, what has he done wrong? Seven races, six wins. All the big races. He has earned right now. 2.4 million dollars going into the derby i mean they have good things that not this arsenal do nothing wrong so he definitely has to be in but if he wins my double gonna pay the less the least amount but i definitely have to carry him in hoping at least 
you know, he, I, I don't know what to say, but in the win position, I carry 11 of them. So obviously you don't want the one who is favored the most. That's what he is. And this is a Taj Pelche again. I think Pelche has got about um, three of them in the race. Anyways, Raising King, the rest of the field now to me. Another violence, seven races, two wins. Uh, again, I had to leave him out because he doesn't have as good, even though he's violence, he's, he doesn't have as good um, races as Forte, even though he's his brother, basically. 50 to 1. Uh, Geraldo Morales. I don't know the trainer so well. That's what it is. So that's number 16. Now we go to the 17. Derma Sutogaki. This one won the. When you watched on that. Um, what do you call it? Dubai World Cup Day. This has gone to the front. And he ain't stop, he just keep going and going and going. But they said that um, any of these shippers from UAE come for the Derby. They've done that before. They had a great one. Me, me, was it Mendelssohn? I think it was that was his name. He had won the Breeders' Cup. He went and he won that one. And he was coming into the Derby as one of the favorites. And he ran clean out. He became a front runner later on in his life. And he did okay afterwards. But in the Derby, he was clean off the board. Anyways, mind your biscuits. I don't know, sometime I wake up in the night and you know somebody's telling you, mind your business? I don't know, I had a couple of dreams. Mind your, mind your um, business or mind your biscuits. Anyways, one Japanese, I gotta carry, I gotta carry one of them in. I think there's three of them. Infamy. Eight race, four win. I think most of his career is over in Dubai. I mean, the shipping, they're spending lots of money to ship him in and stuff, so we have to see. Christopher Lomir, I guess that is a foreign jockey and the trainer and everything. I guess he bred in Japan. So mind your biscuits run over here in um, North America, but um, I guess all the good brood mares now, a lot of them are in Japan. So anyways, Dormo Sotagaki is in for me. Morning line 10 to 1, I don't know. Which way you'll go, either up or down, I don't know. But he's in for me. All right, let's finish off here. I'm getting long-winded. I don't want to do that. Rocket can into the mischief. Seven races, two wins. I did not carry him in. His last prep was in the Arkansas Derby. Well-beaten fourth behind Angel of Empire. Okay. Cyclone mischief is in. I guess Joel Rosario has a chance to ride either one, but... I don't know which, I guess he can got to choose, but so far they, they can got to give a jockey change into the mischief. Seven to one, I mean, seven races run, two wins. Uh, last race was Gulfstream. So I guess this one was third in um, behind Forte and Maj. Uh, I, I couldn't care everybody, so I didn't put him in. <clears throat> the other two outsiders are like, big big long shots mandarin hero i mean he ran second an impressive second a japanese again i didn't really use him but like what are you gonna do he's gonna be around 40 50 to, i hope he don't beat me and the next one king russell my friend was telling me yesterday that how the king getting incarnate king charles is being is being um is being um what you call it sworn in today so if you like them kind of angle that you know king russell Beherano, he's gonna be a good fifth there or so to one i ain't really put you right so my my 11 of them is one through six eight maj 11 disarmed angel of empire 14 Forte 15 and Dormo Sotagaki the 17. Anyways, guys, have a happy and pleasant Derby day. Hope you don't bet too much. Don't bet the farm, you know. You gotta pay the rent. So save the rent money at least, you know. Guys, have a nice day. Who are not um, subscribed to my channel, please rate as vlogs. 
it's called i am trying some i have 270 or so videos i tried for it for two years i'm not looking to make money I, I hope that when i die one day my son or my grandson could say look this is granddad or this is dad you know this is how he live his life i love life i'm gonna have a few beers with my cousin i'm gonna pick him up we're gonna do all our stuff we're gonna pick up a little um snack tray and then we go over hopefully uh, well i won't drive if i'm gonna drink i drive for a living so i can't afford that i'll probably have to take a taxi go over by my cousin a little bit and then probably we take the taxi we go to the little bar maybe we're gonna watch the derby there and then come home. it's early morning now as well 7 40 i tell my cousin i'm picking him up to eat anyways guys cheers peace out please subscribe like comment and share the video thanks guys